Hello, welcome to another episode of Terrific Tools Tuesday at djsundries.blogspot.com. I'm so glad you decided to join me today, and I have some fun things to talk about um, and a little story about how I ended up choosing today's tool. I've been debating back and forth what I wanted to try, and um, I had a little nudge in a direction to help me decide what I'm doing today. So um, the first thing I want to, before getting into the tool for the day, I want to give kind of a couple shout outs, thank yous to a couple different people. Um, a few weeks ago I was um, blog hopping and commented on a blog for a post that I liked um, and it was Crush Your Heart Paper Crafts and Giselle is the um, blog host and um, I won the blog candy and so I was excited when I found out what set what I was getting and what I was getting was this set of stamps from K Andrew Designs and it's the Freedom Isn't Free stamp. Now we're going to talk about the stamps in just a few minutes but Gis Giselle and K Andrew thank you so much for the stamp I am so excited about it. Um, I as soon as I heard um, that I had won this set I began thinking of a project that I want to do and so um, I'm not going to give too much of that away right now it'll probably be a few weeks before I get there but these are great stamps um, this is a four by six sheet of stamps and it um, has all sorts of sayings that you can mix and match to put on cards um, probably um, you could use them on layouts as well or on tags um, they're smaller so you it would be a smaller sentiment for a layout but you know there's a dog ha dog tag here um, let's see some of them say serving proudly standing tall thank you for your ser or thank you for serving and answering the call sleeping peacefully tonight because of you um, I salute your bravery um, this one I really like in the corner here it says today American soldier I prayed for you um, so I have a really fun idea and project coming up with that um, I received these in the mail on Monday. Actually, K. Andrew um, Crystal from K. Andrew Design was the sponsor for this particular blog candy that I um, received. And so she sent them out with another um, fun thing, or actually a couple fun things. A couple weeks ago, um, Friday night before, about a week and a half ago, um, Crystal had a live Ustream um, broadcast introducing her new st um, stamp sets that are coming out well any day now they should be coming out really exciting ones um, there's a Christmas one um, the one I'm most excited about is the um, scripture verses one um, where she's just made stamps out of various scripture verses but it was a really fun time it was live lasted about an hour maybe not quite you could sit there and chat with other people in there and um, she had a ton of giveaways one of them was a set of rhinestone um, self-adhesive pieces um, they're from creative charms who she is a designer for and um, this is really pretty black and clear um, and I can't wait to use these on cards and layout so thanks Crystal for that and then also during that time um, I also won this set of free stamps now this set is the sympathetic saying stamp and it says all sorts of things um, t uh, I'm so sorry uh, God sees your sorrow he is with you I can't um, imagine what you are feeling, but I'm here for you with deepest sympathy. May God comfort, may God's comfort be with you, um, and different things like that. Now, um, Crystal does a really good job designing her stamp, and I will give you a link to her web address. Um, she donates a portion of her proceeds to different charities, and each stamp set. Um, has the charity listed onto it that um, that particular stamp set will be donated to or the money from a portion of the money from that stamp set would be donated to. So Crystal, thanks so much for the stamp set. Um, I have a couple other stamp sets from Crystal's and I have a couple coming with the new releases so I'm really excited to be getting them. A couple more that I have. Um, I guess I only got one of them out here. Um, this one I haven't had the chance to use yet either, but this is the uh, Splashtastic Summer. Fun, fun. You are my sunshine. Um, when Elisa was little, we used to, Daniel used to sing that to her when she was just a baby. 
and um, so you float my boat um, here comes the sun uh, don't be crabby just keep swimming just lots of fun ones these are a little bit larger so they're a little bit um, larger sentiments for cars or you could put them on a layout too so looking forward to that I also have one that um, is fruit and vegetable puns so looking forward to that so by now you can probably guess that we're going to talk about stamps um, that's what we're going to talk about today now stamping is one of the first um, crafts as an adult that I really got into wasn't the very first but it was one that has probably stuck with me the longest I just enjoyed it um, I've been stamping for quite a while although I did have a break during the school years when I was in nursing school and stuff but I just want to talk about stamps today. What a great tool. They're so versatile. You can use them for so many things. Um, you might say, you know, I'm not really a crafter. Why would I need stamps? You know, they're fun to play with your kids with them. Um, stamps come in a variety of ways. The most um, common in years past when I first started stamping were these wood mounted stamps. Most of the stamps that you would purchase came this way. Now, um, stamping up, you would I have a few sets from Stamping Up, and you could get them in a set that coordinated this particular set. I don't remember what it was called, but it was a music set. And um, one of my favorite Christmas cards that I did used this set and another set. Um, and this was just traditionally how we would stamp. It would be a piece of um, rubber attached to a piece of foam on a wood mount. Now Stamping Up does a great job with the quality of their stamps. I'm, I don't work for Stamping Up. I have a friend that, um, I don't know if she still does, but used to sell Stamping Up. And um, they do a really nice job. And this was just how I would stamp. Um, after I had been stamping for a little while, and you can also buy them, you can still buy wood mounted stamps, of course. They're out there all over the place. Um, a, a positive, a pro for wood mounted stamps is their durability. They're really strong. Um, they're, you know, you're easy to see what you have here. Um, some companies sell them in, in sets. You can pick them up now, you know, at your craft stores. Um, there are many places online that sell them as well. So um, this is one way to do stamps. Short, shortly after I started stamping and, and got into that and started making cards and things, then I was introduced to unmounted stamps. Now, I would I would consider this the advanced unmounted stamp. It's come a long ways. Back when I was learning to stamp and I was using unmounted stamps, um, you would have a stamp similar to say this, only it would be the rubberized part. It would just be this part of it. Um, and there was a special, the way I did it, there was a special glue, um, I believe it was by Scotch, it came in a blue glue stick tube and you could use it, um, it was a repositionable glue and there were directions right on the tube, you would, you know, let it sit for a few minutes before mounting it onto your block. If you didn't let it sit, then it wouldn't become tacky enough and so then it would slip right off so then when you would stamp your image it would slip and slide and you would get a messy image. Um, you purchased these acrylic blocks and honestly I use these to this day. Um, I, I have not replaced these through the years. I, I added to my collection. I bought this one a few months ago because I needed a larger one um, but these are ones that I've probably had 12 to 15 years um, and just in various sizes and you would put your stamp on them and stamp them. The disadvantage back then is repositionable glue was sometimes difficult to come by. Um, it, it was a great option and there were some, some advantages to them, some of the same advantages that I'll show you with these stamps. One advantage is being a clear mount instead of the wooden block, you could see better where your image was going. Um, I don't use those stamps much anymore. In fact, I haven't used them in years. The I don't even have the glue to use them. I suppose if I would play with it, maybe my Zig two-way pin, my big chunky one, it might work. Um, same concept as what the Scotch glue. It's just not something that I use anymore. It's not as easy to use. And so then that brings us to this modern era of um, stamps. These particular ones by K. Andrew are um, 
clear. They're such a good quality. Um, and it looks like they're colored here. Actually, they're not. That's just the way it looks on the picture so that you can read the stamp, the sentiment that you're trying to get. It's actually a clear sentiment. And I don't know how it works, but they, they're made in such a way that they cling to your mount all by themselves. Um, and here's the huge advantage of the clear mount stamps. And this is why, personally, they're my favorite. Um, and the reason why is because when I ink up my stamp, I can see exactly what's inked. And when I go to set it on my image or on my paper or my paper, whatever I'm stamping, I can see exactly where I place that stamp. And I absolutely love that feature because sometimes you might be in trying to fit your sentiment or your image into a very small space. And so I really like that feature and that's one of my favorite things about using the clear mount um, stamps. When they become where they don't adhere as well to your block, most of the recommendations that I've seen is just clean them really well front and back and that will reactivate, that'll get the extra build up from around the stamp that maybe has accumulated to make them not work. Um, not everyone does them clear mounted. Um, if you've watched very many of my posts at all, you know that I'm a big Tim Holtz fan. I have a big project coming up that I plan to use this stamp set on. Um, and this is just a haberdashery stamp set. These are a little bit different than the clear mount, but it's the same concept. Again, I don't have a clue how it works because my mind just can't walk or wrap itself around that. But it it adheres right to your clear acrylic block. You can set it up there. Now you can't see exactly where the um, ink is going because it's not clear mounted, but it is the same concept. I'm not gonna ink this whole stamp because I don't wanna clean the whole stamp. But again, you just ink your stamp and you press it. These do stamp beautifully. I like the way they get, they have, um, they don't really give, they're, they do stamp very nicely. But you see here, there's my dress form pattern that I was doing. So and that, there are so many advantages to using the unmounted stamps. Now, if you are a firm believer in mounted stamps, that's great. For me, I have limited storage space. The cost, um, it, it seems to me that the sets of unmounted stamps tend to run a little bit less expensive than if I were to try to buy the mounted and which makes sense because it costs more to ship them because they're mounted on wood and etc. But the storage is key for me. Um, it's time to clean my stamps. There are different ways to clean the stamps. My favorite way is I use baby wipes. If you've watched my videos and you've wondered what this box of baby wipes sitting on my desk is for, the biggest thing is to clean things, but most particularly, most particularly my stamps. Um, they just do a really nice job. Now there's something that you need to know if you do use baby wipes to clean your stamps like I do, make sure that when you purchase them you get alcohol free. You don't want, alcohol would, um, could potentially make your stamps dry out more quickly and therefore um, start cracking and losing some of the clarity of the image. Um, that's just how I like to clean my stamps. There are so many other ways you can do it. Um, I'm gonna get this really clean. I have seen and I have here the um, Stampin' Scrub by Stampin' Up. Um, you can purchase a mist that you kind of open this up and you spray it in there and you rub your stamp on it and it really gets the crevices clean and that does a really good job. Um, there are other stamp cleaners on the market usually in the stamp section at your craft store that you can use. Um, and so they clean up nicely. All, you know, take good care of your stamps, wood mounted, cling mounted, however you decide to stamp, just make sure that you take good care of your stamps and they'll um, last a lot longer. Keep that clarity on them. Um, some of the Tim Holtz stamps um, come on these these are really heavy acrylic pieces. Um, it has the name of the stamp set. It also has three ring binder um, here. He has a binder 
that he has designed for his stamps, but you can also just purchase these clean mount um, things to put in the binder. I don't do that with it. This is the only stamp set that I have like that. But I like the fact that these packages are so small. I mean, when you think of all of these stamps, if each one of them were wood mounted, you can imagine how much space they would take. So you, there are so many ways to um, store them. I actually have a spinning rack that I store mine on, and they just clip to it, and then I can find them. They're right, they're hanging right on my spin rack, just like this, and I can find them pretty quickly. So um, they're easy to store. Every once in a while, I'll still buy some wood mounted stamps just because it's something, you know, maybe it's a particular thing that I want. Um, they're all different kinds of stamp pads. Um, this is probably more of a supply, but we'll go into it quickly. Um, this is one of the options, these petal points. This is by Colorbox, and they just slide out and you can ink up your stamp. These are pigment inks, um, and they, they stay wetter longer, so for some applications you'll want the pigment ink. If you're embossing, pigment inks are good. Um, this is my go-to black pad. I, I've not even seen one of these on the market. I've had it for years and I have a re-inker that's lasted me for years and years. Um, and this is just, I like the clarity in my black stamps. From this one, this is by Excelsior. This is a dye ink pad. It dries very quickly. Of course I'm using, I have quite a few of these dye ink pads from um, Tim Holtz, the Distress Ink Pads. Memento makes some good ink pads. This is a Versamark pad, which I haven't even opened yet, but it's um, to make watermarks. You can use it for embossing. There's some other things you can use it for as well. So all of these go together to make a good, um, fun thing to do, whether you're a scrapbooker or a card maker or you just want to have some fun with your kids, um, get out the rubber stamps and have some fun. Thanks for watching and have a great day.